It always been and it will be always about people. The church is not a building. The church is not even organization. The church is what you do. It's who you are. People is our mission. People like you and me who experience the grace and the power and the love of Jesus Christ. This is what all IFGFGC is all about. God is calling every one of us to be the unshakable generations, a generation that walk in the spirit of power, love, and sound mind. When God gave us power, you know, that power is supposed to influence people around us. The kingdom of God is not geographical area. The kingdom of God is not castle on the hill. But really, the bottom line is the kingdom of God is the power within us. He wants us to display His power so that we can transform people, society, into the image of God. When He gave you power, He gave you creativity to create even wealth so that the wealth of the Gentile will come to the kingdom of God. And I believe that power is given and available for all of us in our generations. I believe since in the beginning, the Holy Spirit is touching and changing the heart of young people. It's come from the people who are studying in abroad, in the United States, I see in the Canada, and the Lord touch their life and change and make them to be a future leader. I believe that is the DNA of IFGFKC. Sampai saat ini Krisa sudah berhasil meraih 12 medali emas di Olimpiade Matematika tingkat internasional dan nasional di Hong Kong, Thailand, Singapura dan Indonesia sendiri. Selain itu Krisa juga berhasil meraih Satya Lencana Wirakarya dari Presiden Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono tahun ini. Selain itu, penghargaan Muri juga Krisa dapat tahun lalu atas prestasi sebagai perempuan pertama yang meraih absolute winner di Olimpiade Sains Nasional dan medali emas di International Mathematics and Science Olympiad. Krisa sebagai anak Tuhan yang mendapatkan talenta akan menggunakannya sebaik mungkin untuk kemuliaan nama Tuhan dan memberikan dampak bagi generasi muda. Millions of people around the world are affected because of your ministry. Thousands upon ten thousands of leaders, facilities, buildings, colleges, universities, medical centers, all kinds of things that God has used you to do and accomplish in this generation. We are building a church with many colors. It is a kind of church that really serves every culture, embrace diversity. I believe love will glue every one of us. It doesn't matter what colors of skins, what race, as we a church building together with one passion to share God's love to all mankind. And I believe, as Paul said, love never fails. IFGF Kisi called to be a people of love, walking hand in hand to build a strong covenant on this earth. Mission is my heartbeat. It should be our heartbeat. Because if we are not catching man, you know somebody that does, it's the devil is catching man. You know the word catch man? It's only twice in the Bible. Once is when Jesus said, you will now become catchers of men. The other one in the second, second Timothy, where it says the devil is catching men to follow his desires. And this is the reason, if we are not catching men, the devil is already catching men. And this is one thing that I'm so afraid, is that in the, on the last day in Revelation chapter 20, the devil will be bound by chains and be thrown into the lake of fire. That is a for sure and a done deal. 
But the thing is this, what if as he was thrown into the lake of fire, he will gleefully say, you know, I may be destroyed right now, but I'm taking more people than you. I don't know. And I, I just imagining if he is showing me a picture of my family that are not safe. And he's saying, look, I have brought more souls than you. And I'm destroyed, but I take more people than you to be destroyed. I don't know how I can live with myself in heaven with that thought, especially if he showed me a picture of my family. This is why mission is not a program. Mission is my heartbeat. I'm living in LA, but my feet, I'm walking in Africa, all over Africa. My ears are listening to the cries of people in Pakistan. And I am, my heart is also in Nepal. And I am, I, my heart is all over the world because Jesus' heart is all over the world. That is why mission is our heartbeat. He doesn't want us to spoil even a single soul. That's why these are the things that we have to know and we have to have and we have to practice it every day, every time and every moment of our life. They always focus on evangelism and the building of the church in a new landscape. So along with preaching the gospel, we go for the impact, influence the communities according to the word of God. I tell you, Pastor Jimmy Ontario, you are something else. Your vision, your passion, and your team, you are putting together 3,000 churches by 2009. That's awesome. 2,000 is awesome, but 3,000 even better. What an unshakable generation you are producing. I love it. I am behind it. I pray for you. There is always place in this church for African people like me. من دوست دارم این کلیسا را به خاطر که دوست دارم مردم ما را و میشناسن مردم ما را. Summer Mission is an unforgettable experience that you must encounter at least once in your life. It doesn't matter how old you are, what matters is the passion in your heart and your willingness to go out to the mission field. One thing I love about this church, that this church loves people so much and cares, especially to those that others might forget, people that seem insignificant, but actually so precious to the Lord, because Jesus has come to the poor and the needy, as it is written, and the King shall come and say to them, truly, truly, I say to you, in as much as you did to the least of these, my brother, you have done it to me. Friend of the poor, help me through the night, help me in the fight, come to my rescue. Friend of the poor, take these skin bones. Wow, do we need that right now with all the troubles going on in the world, all the uh, turmoil, the political, the economic, all the things going on. Um, it's time that we come to a place where we can hear some positive, where we can get going, where we can discover who we are in God, and what we can do in God, discover how to reach our community, make the community better. believe that family is very important in our church. With a strong family, with a healthy family, we believe that the, the church also become a healthy church.
different generation, different culture, different nation, but we built it one sound, the wisdom of God in action. For me, people is our mission, also means that people is our greatest asset. That's why we want to make sure that every church member will grow in faith and, and in character since day one, he or she joined our church. Through the nine classes of iGrow, we provide a journey for them to grow systematically so that he or she can grow one level at a time. As our church grow, we want to become a truly people of God who has passion for Him and passion for His kingdom. I believe that the future of our church depends on the quality and the quantity of our leaders. We cannot grow a strong and healthy church without leaders. That's why growing ourselves to become a better leaders as well as developing new leaders must become one of our priorities in the future. We want to grow leaders who transform communities, cities, and nations in the world. DC, IFGF, it's just amazing. You guys are going to change the world, and over here we are praying for you, standing with you. If we keep faithful and walk together in the spirit of power, love, and sound mind, serving our nation, influence society, transform communities, I believe we all will become unshakable generations until Jesus comes.